Hi, uh, I'm going to cover in this introductory video, I'm going to cover the uh, pile driving log overview. Uh, I'm going to have a sequence of other short videos to cover in detail all the important parts of the log. But what we have here in this series of videos is instructions and illustrations of how to fill this uh, pile driving log. Uh, the pile driving log for FDOT is actually a workbook that consists of several individual spreadsheets, as you see here. Right. Um, the first page is just um, a pile driving log basic information when you input for every individual pile the project number, dates of driven station, information about the band peers, pile sizes, hammer being used, etc. Um, we do have something that could help the final estimates people later on to compute quantities and give a summary of what it was done during the in the driving of this pile. We also have some survey information and elevations of the other the pile that are very important and needed to document uh, how the pile looks like at the end. Um, in a sense, it's basically uh, what we used to have in the um, in the handwritten uh, version of the pile driving log before. This time we have an electronic form that is supposed to be used with the e-construction uh, specifications and projects that use e-construction or electronic construction recording. Um, in addition, we have added uh, some very useful fields that we have found are necessary to document, for example, what happens in several dates if the pile has been driven through several dates uh, we also have added some um, additional input that we have found very useful um, in recent years. Uh, on these pages 2, 3, and 4, uh, there are basically the tables that uh, we use to record depths and blows per foot with the re respective stroke throughout the depth of the pile or the depth of the driving. Um, if the pile is very long, then we may need to use uh, page 3 to continue all, all the driving, or in some string cases we may even use page 4. But for most of the cases, uh, the, log, uh, the uh, page 2 should be enough. Um, you do have also another page called reference inputs and notes, where we document changes on the reference elevation, uh, which we will use to compute important final elevations. Also, <coughs> we will be using throughout the driving notes that we create or some standard notes or default notes that we have created for, for you to use. These notes are being going to be referred here as we go through the driving, okay? Some, or maybe use somewhere here in those areas which you may be referring those to here. Um, and we have, uh, you know, we got, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, we got like 10 or 12, you know, uh, individual or default values of the nodes, plus all these 28 nodes that we can do. Uh, there will be also a hidden in your expression, there will be an additional page available. This is actually going to be hidden when you open the, uh, the, the word book. You won't see this one, but it will be hidden. In other words, what it means. Uh, uh, basically, this is what you're going to see, but if you ever need to refer to additional notes, you're going to click um, unhide, and that page will be activated. In here, you're going to input all the additional notes, so in total, you can have up to 66 notes plus the first 10 to 12 you know, standard notes. Mm -hmm. Other pages that are uh, available uh, have to do with the uh, with the survey sketch, which is actually explaining how the formulas to compute these elevations here are being used. Okay. In addition, there is um, a page that shows instruction on how to convert this uh, work. Uh, uh, 
Excel uh, workbook into a PDF file. Let me go back and hide that again. There is a final form or with very minimum input. It's going to give you a graphical sketch of how the pile looks like at the end. Uh, and it's going to need only one input from you. Uh, we will cover that later on. Um, this is pretty much it, what we have for the, uh, as an overview. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please uh, follow with the next videos to go in detail through, through the instructions on this page. Bye-bye. Thank you.